What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of my Portal 2 Let's Play. I think this is episode 10 by now, although this is now my second episode that I'm filming back to back. So, uh, if you guys only saw the previous episode a week or a day ago, depending on how I choose to schedule my episodes moving forward. But for me, it's literally 10 seconds. <laughs> So, let's carry on. Let's see what this uh, old aperture, as we're going to be calling it from now on, is uh, is like. So, there's a button which raises the ramp. Okay. There's orange goo. What does orange goo do? Let's go read the sign up there. Maybe it'll tell us. Thank you for keeping our enrichment spheres clean. <laughs> I take it we're still dealing with the, with the homeless, which is a uh, tragedy. Tra tragedy? Tragedy. Travesty. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll Google it afterwards and then I'll correct myself next episode. <laughs> okay, orange goo. What do you do? Let's uh, stand on it. No jumping. Does it make a weird sound when I jump? Hmm, I wonder, is that the point of this goo? See if we just walk a little. No, nothing happens when we walk. Let's maybe try running. Whoa! <laughs> How cool was that? Okay, so probably portal's gonna go over there if I had to take a guess. And that does not look like the way I wanna go. Oh, right, so now I'm gonna wanna put my other portal over here, but now how do I get back up there? Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna need to... How am I gonna do this? Can I do it from over here? Okay, so orange over there. Yes, now I've got a blue. Now orange over here, I think. Is it working? Yeah, look at that. Spraying the place. Okay, well, I could take the portals again, or I could do this epic thing again. <laughs> that is That is pretty epic, you can't deny. Let's see what happens if we run through this portal very fast. I just want to make sure that I don't fall off. Over here. Woo! Hey, I could touch the inside of that pipe. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, same story, I take it. Blue goes here. Okay, I'm just gonna. But now, how am I gonna. How am I gonna get up there? Um. Put orange over there for now. So now blue is there. So now orange goes. We want orange to go there eventually. But now I need to find a way to press the button. Hold on, hold on. No, wait, this isn't gonna work. Okay, let me quickly try to figure this out. Please excuse me for just a second. Oh, I got it, I got it. So I put orange over there, so now blue goes in the new spot. Yes, there we go. Okay, in retrospect, probably not that difficult. Ah, but it's just going to fall straight through this grid floor anyway. I don't think that's going to work. Orange. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay, so let me just, I'm just quickly going to put orange back here for a second. And I'll just run back over. Then I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab the cube, I guess. Like what's the issue? <laughs> what's the problem? Range. Okay. Now how can I get back there in a way that is epic instead of just doing a portal there, portal there and running through? I don't think that I can, so I guess we're not gonna. 
Mm, okay, let's see what this does first. I'm gonna take it all the way from over here. Extra long lineup. Woo! Hey, we made it! <laughs> A small part of me didn't think that we would. Remember, do not leave your belongings here. Loiter for more than 20 minutes. Touch the glass. Do wear a shirt and shoes at all times. Move quickly through your test track. Not forget to touch the glass. <laughs> Man, that is so epic. Okay, so this is gonna be epic. This is gonna be awesome. I can feel it. I can feel it. Let's drop that over there. So this is gonna open this door, right? That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. So then I'm gonna, and it's probably on the timer. Hey, this is an all time office. Oh man, I want to see what's inside. <laughs> I mean, I know what's inside, but I want to feel it, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to need to run in reverse and very quickly open that button, which I assume is on a timer. Let's check it out. Hey, yo! Okay, so open up. Where the hell am I? Okay, it's not on a timer. Thank goodness, because that was bad. I mean, I already know what's going on here, but I'm I'm role playing someone that does not yet know. You know, for you guys, it's like I feel. Uh, well, probably anyone that watches this has probably played this game himself already, and or watched the Let's Play already. So probably, I'd say it's safe to assume you all know. But for that, for that. 0.1% of you that might not know what's happening right now. I'm just going to do a bit of role playing. Okay. Because now I'm going to drop blue stuff over here. Okay. So that I can do a, a bouncy bounce from here to over here, but I'm going to bounce right into that wall. Woo! Boom. Okay, so it seems obvious that a portal needs to go there. Where's the other one go? Uh, up there? Question mark? Let's first see what's happening up here. Anything cool going on? Is that some sort of a mast? No, it's just a pipe. Just a random pipe that randomly stops over here. What the hell, man? For a second there, I thought it was a ship's mast. Well, orange gel. I want to get over there. I want to experience it. I want to soak it all in. Okay, so orange over here. Blue over here, but now how do I get back? No. First blue goes over here, let's say. Then we jump through. Now blue goes over here. Okay, let's try this again. I believe in us. Woo! Oh man, that was so epic. <laughs> I swear I know him. Okay, tell us the thing, Kev. If oh. you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as you. <laughs> okay, so this puzzle is kind of disassociated no that's not a right that's that's not a word right or at least that's not the word i'm looking for anyway different parts of it is scattered all across <laughs> this puzzle is kind of scattered let's just say that which in my experience makes things a little bit more difficult to see how they fit together 1976 already but i'm sure we're gonna make it work okay so as you can tell time progresses as we move through the old aperture like well not time progress, obviously time progresses but we are moving through different sections that were built in different times is what i'm trying to say okay let's try to figure out what i'm trying to do sorry I'm, I'm a little all over the place right now i'm excited about being friday uh, uh, i've got portals i've got to think with portals now as it works this turns that around so that Portable, portable surface. No, not sure what's gonna happen there. Blue goes there, orange goes there. For now. Let's 
uh, thing. Okay, so there's gel. What can we do with the gel? Can we make that box jump off there? No, I don't think that we can, to be honest. There's a run up over there that we can look at. Um, I was pointing that way. Ah, so let's try doing something like that. Like I said, blue. Go there for a second so we can just coat this place. Is it going to coat the entire area? What about this section over here? This little corner? And that corner? Hey, there we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's all covered. Thank you. You can go now. Okay, so I'm going to do a massive leap. A running flip to flip. And that's going to land me right over there. So let's see if we put orange over there and blue over there. It's going to coat that ramp with. Um, with a uh, uh, what's it called bouncy gel <laughs> repulsion gel but but we're calling it bouncy gel moving forward i think bouncy gel and runny gel Ooh, that was so epic oh my goodness i don't remember that i s swear to god i don't i do not remember that epic jump okay so let's take this over there because there's a button there's a box button right there we're gonna grab this box and run straight in that direction. Um, I don't know why we want this thing turned around, but I'm sure we'll see just now. Let's put blue back over there. So now, where is the box relative to this place? Okay, so I think stuff's happening over there. I mean, I don't. Think. Clearly, the stuff is happening over there, but I don't know what that thing's problem is. Uh, so that's where we want to be. The ramp sort of comes out in this direction and this stuff over there. So I'm thinking runny gel over there, jump all the way over. And then maybe in the middle here we can place a uh, bouncy gel. Let's see what happens. Because I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put bouncy gel here. Let's start with bouncy gel. There we go, I think that's entirely covered. Let's just do one more load. No, it's not covered. Covered. Then I'm gonna use this running gel. Uh, but we still want we still want bounce gel on that thing as well, is what we said. Let's see what happens if we try without it. But I suspect this might be our second death again. Now you know what? I'm I'm not about these deaths. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play like a good boy and not get myself killed on purpose, how's that? Is that something you guys can get on board with? I might be lame, but it'd have been better if you tried it that way. Let me know how you guys feel, man. I just don't know how you're doing, you know? Okay, so, I'm gonna place orange over there. I'm gonna jump out of here. Then I'm gonna place blue right there. Yes? Yes, orange over there. Give me some mounty gel. Okay, thank you. Then I'm gonna place blue. I'm gonna place orange over there because I don't want the button covered in gel. Oh, I don't want anything covered in gel. That's not supposed to be covered in gel. Okay, let's do a runny jumpy. Yeah, <laughs> that's all we're calling this movement for right? runny jumpies. Boing. In case hey, you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. For a change. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. <laughs> you, I realize sixty dollars is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats, beard dirt, 
You're dirt. <laughs> yes. This guy has no chill. He just he just hoys it. Hoy means throw in Afrikaans. Uh, gamma. Pump station gamma? Question mark? I think so. 1978. Okay, so time has progressed again. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Sorry, I can properly see what, what that sign said. Just wanna... Because now my blue portal... Oh no, we locked in and I didn't get to see what that thing was where I put my portal. Uh, okay, I hope this leads back out so that I can soak up what the hell was happening out there. Whatever was happening out there. All forms must be filled out legibly and completely before eligible to receive payment of $60. <laughs> okay, so whoever was in this cage processed the $60, I assume. Maybe that's why there's relative security here compared to the admin offices that we saw before. Another little waiting area. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's, that's about it. Elevator to surface. Let me out. Let me out. Please excuse the inconvenience. This elevator is out of service until blank. So what's cool is I think as time went on, they upgraded and chopped and changed the facility and different areas became the entrance like we saw and different areas became the exits. So these elevators to the surface that we see used to be actual exits. You know, this used to be an actual $60 processing station uh, actual waiting area for your $60 and then you would take that elevator out but then yeah probably there were upgrades and changes and so they sealed that off and moved the operation elsewhere inside this old mine it is just so cool man Such, uh, okay anyway I'm glad to see that we uh, that we popped out here where I was afraid that we weren't gonna part <laughs> pump station gamma yeah now you can clearly see it says pump station gamma 1982 now, okay, okay, so time is progressing, I don't know if I noticed that timestamp earlier. Okay, I think it's just through here, but can't we go up there real quick? Can we, please, please, I just want to see everything there is to see, is that too much to ask? Oh, I take it we're going to be moving up that way. It feels that way, it feels that way. It's <laughs> I mean, I've been handling things for myself for this whole time, so yeah. Yeah, I think she uh, she came to an epiphany. Oh, please don't squash me, Mr. Pistons. Uh, what I was saying, oh, old timey computers, sorry to just quickly get sidetracked again. More old timey little control panels with a little old timey mic. And all time you fired. Oh my goodness, that is the good stuff right there. What is this one? Is this the white? That's the white stuff. Mm hmm. Whatever could that be? Um, okay, I'm not gonna do that. It's it's portal. It's portable surface gel. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, moving in, it seems that this game doesn't like expose any areas that aren't supposed to be used. So whenever you see a portable wall it feels i think as though you're supposed to be able to go there so i don't think that like that area that i now said before we move into this um chamber area <laughs> like i think that place is going to be accessible because it looks accessible but there's a walkable catwalk and so on okay so we've got portable surface with this gel uh so we're gonna wanna Get up there somehow. Can I can I make a jump? Uh, uh, yep, I don't think so. But more portable surface over there. So this isn't throwing out any additional gel. It seems ah okay, so there's a way up there. Oh look at that. Look at that. Yes, I'm a regular old genius. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I should probably should have discovered that much before. <laughs> I 
Okay, so from here, what do we do? What is the plan? I'll put that there. Danger, keep out. Why on earth would I keep out? I want to know everything. I want to see everything out of there again. That's pretty obvious, but of course I'm distracted again. Hey, we made it. Woo, running service. Oh, no. Okay, quickly just suck up all timey computers, all timey thingamaboobs. Portable spot over there. Nothing on that side. Uh, woo, made it. Carla the complainer says, my new boss is a robot. But did you know, robots are smarter than you, robots work harder than you, robots are better than you. <laughs> ah, that is so terrible, such a terrible thing to say, it's so funny. Volunteer for testing today. All tiny computers with a little, a little cube meter per hour, meter cube. I assume, I don't know, I don't know, math symbols really. Very well, maybe there's a better name for that, but I know the little three, superscript three is cube. M I assume is meter. Could be mass. I don't know. Okay, we've got a door. It's way over there, salt potato. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, I told you, see? No, no area that looks usable is unusable. By the looks of it. Oh, you see now. You see now what they want me to do. <sighs> These people. Okay, I will run under this massive pub distance. Yet again. Okay, do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Made it. What? What? Yeah, boy. 1981. So that's 1982 over there. This is 1981. We're gonna... Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> System making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're gonna phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. And the bean counter told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. <laughs> Guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Well, mm -hmm. it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive. Do some science. <laughs> that said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Man, that sort of makes me sad. So old Kev Johnson is dying from uh, moon rock poisoning. So, uh, you know, there he is in his old age. We'll jump down there right now. I just want to read a funny sign. Know your paradoxes. In the event of rogue AI, stand still, remain calm, scream. This statement is false. New mission. Refuse this mission. Does a set of old sets contain itself? <laughs> so, yeah. According to this uh, this game's philosophy, paradoxes are the way to defeat AI. Also, does this look like a turret? Maybe an early prototype? Used to say. Oh, what's behind this door? Damn it, I hate it when they keep things from us. All time in computers, one fell over. I would love to have one of these computers in real life just to tinker with, you know, just to play around with. The subject waiting area. Okay, Johnson. Okay, so now you can see he's proper old already in the 80s. And he's contracted moon rock poisoning and is now dying sadly. Which kind of breaks my heart a little. I'm just, I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit sad about it. Sorry, let me just readjust in my chair. Aperture science, let's work together. Is that a robot face or is it? Some sort of serial killer mask made out of human flesh. Okay, the subject waiting area. So this is now they are not testing on actual employees. The homeless people probably ran out. They probably ended up killing every homeless person in the uh, in the country. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, okay, I cannot cannot smell what you want me to do. Wait for attendant. Remote activated door. Oh, okay, so there's a button somewhere, I assume. 
Let's go find the button then. Oh, there's one. Remember, robots don't sleep. They can't taste and do your job. <laughs> Volunteer for testing today. My new ro boss is a robot. Carl, the complainer, says, my new boss is a robot. Did you know robots are smarter than you? Blah, blah, blah. We've read this one already. Okay, press the button. And that one opened, yay. Okay, Johnson, you're like my hero, dude. <laughs> no, not actually my hero, but Dav is one of the better characters that I've seen in my life. Eh? Warning, please do not test if you are allergic to lunar sediments and or starch. You have fulfilled your monthly test self election quota. You are confident enough in your work performance to unvolunteer from the test self election process. <laughs> so, so I take it if you're if you're a stellar employee, like the best of the best, then you could get out of testing. There's no emancipation goal, which sort of has me thinking there might have been something that we could have grabbed. I'm not gonna go back now though. Okay, okay, if you're gonna say something. Because we are way over that I need to uh, say my goodbyes really quickly. Let's try to quickly squeeze in the goodbyes before Kev Johnson starts speaking. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please tune in for the next episode where we continue seeing what's up in this uh, old aperture. Uh, please comment below how you're doing and you know, what's up in your life, what's going on, how, how are things in general. You know, let's, let's talk later in a conversation. And then thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe. No, like, share and subscribe. That would really help me out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.